Hi everyone, this is Marianne and welcome to my channel. I just wanted to quickly come on here because I wanted to share this awesome little thing that I am using for my planner to hold my mechanical pencil. And of course the link will be down below, but first let me give you a backgrounder on how I got here. This style of metal pen holders is actually not new. Here is one that I have had for many many years. Uh, maybe eight years or more. I wasn't a YouTuber at that time and I was not DIYing my own planner yet so it was probably nine or ten years ago. I purchased this from a Muji store in Metro Manila and I used to have this clipped to my leather folio that I used to bring around for meetings inside my office building. And as you can see, the metal has already stretched out on one of the pen loops. It's that old and I have used this a lot. But it still works. It still grips the pen even though the pen is not fat. And the back has a sort of fixed clip that you slide to the edge of your folio as you can see here. And then early this year, around April, I think, I saw these pen loops on Shopee and I purchased this one, this version that holds three pens all at once. Exact same concept and it is still made of metal, just like the Muji one and still has that thing at the back that you slide over the edge of your folio. The difference between this newer one and the older Muji one is that the Muji one has the pen loops lower down while this newer one has the pen loops right at the top so if you put your pens on this the tops of the pens will stick out over the top of the over the top or the edge of your folio but they still work the same the pens will just be uh, jutting out more with the newer pen holder compared with the Muji pen holder. And together with the triple pen holder, when I purchased that one, I also got the single pen holder. Do you remember this? I showed this on my video about my planner refresh last August and I will link that video down below but in that video I explained that the pen holder slides around on the PVC sheet that I had it on so I had to secure the pen holder to the PVC using clear tape. That was my only problem with this pen holder, it slides around. Now before with the Muji one many years ago I had it clipped to a leather cover so it never slid around. I never had that problem. Now that I'm on the disc bound of the plastic cover it slides around and I did try putting the pen holder on the much thicker plastic on my actual cover for my actual planner but it slides around and I didn't want to put tape over my planner cover so I stuck the pen holder to a clear PV sheet and put the clear tape over that PVC sheet. And then I remember that there are other versions of this metal pen holder. Let me show you. Here is the page of the seller where I purchased my latest one. As you can see here, there are several kinds. Here's the one that you need a rivet for. I suppose to you uh, can use that for fabric or leather if you want it to be more permanent. And here is one with an adhesive the one that I recently bought, it's called the Rotation. This version, on the other hand, is called the Black Magnetic. And now I can't read that word, but maybe it's supposed to be Single Parallel. And here is one that's called Single Upright. The pen will be perpendicular to the clip, and this is actually the one that I had, as opposed to the Single Parallel, in which the pen will be parallel to the clip. And here is a double pen holder and another one in rose gold and another magnetic one and here is the triple pen holder that I also have. I bought the one called Rotation that comes with the adhesive at the back and it was super perfect from the get-go. As you can see here, I have placed it on the inside of the back cover of my planner because I have cut my planner covers to be wide enough to accommodate this pen holder and it's working so so well. It does not scratch my pencil and by the way, this is the Tombow Monograph Mechanical Pencil with a 0.5 tip. I have a review of this pencil and two other pencils on my channel and I will link it down below. But trying to recall how my old Muji 
pen holders treated my pens. I don't remember them ever getting any scratches from the pen holder. Of course, that's too long ago and I probably wasn't paying any attention, but now that I'm using this metal pen holder with my pencil, which has a plastic body, I don't see any scratches. And I have been using this for about a week. So, it attaches to a surface with an adhesive and I don't mind that white circle on there that can be seen through the back of my planner cover. I think it's cute. Doesn't look like a pen loop. It looks more like one of those round Velcro patches actually. And it's small. It has a very small footprint. And it, this adhesive is actually a mounting tape because there is some thickness to it and the adhesive is so secure. I slide my pencil in and out of it a million times a day and it has never budged. So let me just put aside the contents of my planner. They're all over there on that side. And this pen holder is called the rotation because it actually rotates. I don't know exactly what that rotation feature is for, but maybe, maybe because it has a fixed adhesive, the pen holder rotates so that in case you want to change the orientation of your pen, you don't have to remove it, you just need to rotate it. But I don't really need it to rotate, it's pretty much in the vertical orientation that I want it to be. And the loop is made of something that looks like a flat spring, so it expands when you, when you put a pen in and it contracts when it's empty. It also works with fat pens. Here is one fat pen that I have. This is just a plastic Jinhao. It's a fountain pen. It's very, very cheap. And it goes into the pen holder just fine. I don't see any scratches on the pen either. And here is an even fatter pen. This is a permanent marker. And as you can see, the pen holder can handle that one too. What this pen holder cannot handle are pens or pencils with a silicon grip or a rubber grip. Like this pencil that I have here, this is a Pilot Opt Mechanical Pencil and as you can see it does not go in. Not because it is fat, because it isn't that fat, the permanent marker is fatter than this. The reason why the Pilot Opt Pencil cannot go in the pen holder is because of the rubber grip. So that is one thing to keep in mind if you have a lot of pens with rubber grips. If you really, really need that rubber grip for reasons of your own, this pen holder will be very difficult to use. And I suppose if you keep putting in fat pens into this uh, pen holder, the spring will eventually loosen up like my old Muji one. But I don't really see myself using fat pens because all I ever use for my planner is a mechanical pencil and I'm perfectly happy with this one from Tombow which is not fat. It's just a normal sized mechanical pencil. And here is a view of the pen loop from the top of my planner. As you can see, it doesn't touch the edges of my planner pages because I have adhered the pen holder far enough away. And I actually even have room for another pen loop on the front cover, the, the facing cover, but I don't really need one. This one pen loop is enough for the one writing instrument that I use for my planner. All in all, I'm super happy that I got this pen holder. I love that it is securely adhered to my planner cover and I love that it is made of metal and it won't get dirty like those light colored pen loops with the elastic. I have a white one and it's filthy now. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching. Bye!